There's so much freedom in discipline. Sometimes all these systems and all these programs and everything put in place is not allowing us to be human. You know, the system doesn't want us to think, the system doesn't want us to be creative, doesn't want us to be, to, be, to be successful. It just wants you to churn through life. And the majority, what that creates for the majority of people, it just wants them to tiptoe safely to death, not do anything outlandish and just average is brilliant. Mulligan Brothers is one of the biggest motivational channels on YouTube, but motivation isn't everything. Discipline is one of the most important things, and that's why discipline over motivation is something that we speak about all the time. Today's video was made possible at mulliganbrothers.com, where you can support us by looking at the new poster, the Mentimori poster, an interactive poster to remind you that one day you are going to die. And if that does not incite discipline, I don't know what will. For me, I treat every day as if it's my last, and it's one of the best motivational tools I've ever used. Let's dive back into the video with Oli Ollerton on discipline. I'd love to hear your perspective as well. Like if we zoom out of the, the galaxy, the universe, like really take it out and just see what a small speck Earth is as well. The idea to be existing is just absolutely mind-blowing when you take everything in consideration. Well, it is, and people rarely sit in that. You know what? I know this sounds quite <laughs> negative, but I would, in some respects, I don't wish it to happen, but in some respects, I, I sit there and wonder how the, the beauty of everything falling apart. Everything falling apart, all the systems, everything falling apart and allowing us to connect with who we actually are at last. You know, start to become human again. The power of, of, of everything we've got to offer. You know, and I think that there'd be, you know, if that did happen, always looking for the silver lining, you know, there's benefit to that. Sometimes all these systems and all these programs and everything put in place is not allowing us to be human, not allowing us to pre appreciate the gift of who we are. But really, you know, people rarely sit down, you know, and, and no disrespect to them. It's the system that we're caught up in. You know, the system doesn't want us to think, the system doesn't want us to be creative, doesn't want to be, as to be, to be successful. It just wants you to churn through life. And the majority, what that creates for the majority of people, it just wants them to tiptoe safely to death, not do anything outlandish, and just average is brilliant. I came up with this the other day and Laura says, I'm sure someone else has said that and I don't really give a shit really. You know, at the end of the day, you know, people are always trying to come up with something new that no one else has said and pretty much anything that you've said has been said by someone else. You know what I mean? It always has. But I came up with this the other day and I thought, what is discipline? What is discipline? And I believe, I went, it's the disciple within. You know, when you understand what is discipline, the power and the freedom of discipline. There's so much freedom in discipline. And what is discipline? I've referred to it as that, the disciple within. What, what is a disciple? A disciple that's someone that is a follower of the teaching that wants to become the master. And really, that is, when it comes to discipline, that is like I look at my life, that discipline process each and every, not each and every day, but the majority of days, you know, I have this discipline process. And when I don't do it, I, I feel like I fall outside of the track. I have to put myself back on. And I feel that is where freedom lives. You know, it's only when you haven't got anything disciplined within your life, you've got nothing, you know, that's keeping you focused or on a certain pathway. That is when the mayhem sets in, the confusion and everything else. And then people sit there thinking, oh, I couldn't do that because it's, it's too stretching. But I just believe that's, that's where the, the freedom is. And that is being the disciple within love that that's fantastic so let's let's just stick on discipline one, one of the things that i ask a lot of people is what does your morning routine look like my morning routine is it hasn't really changed since 2014 since i went into that house and i established that routine mind body and nutrition those three things and i do believe if you take any one of those aspects away then the the building falls down the pyramid falls down so really for me you know in the winter, I give myself a break because I've started being a lot more kind to myself. In the winter, it's six o'clock, but in the summer, I get up with the sun. Um, and that really for me is, I get up, I come downstairs and I'll have that nourishing drink. You know, I do like coffee, but you've got to avoid things like coffee for the first drink. You've been in a fasted state for six to eight hours. 
Your body doesn't want coffee, you, your body wants something nourishing. So for me, first thing is warm, you know, organic lemon water. And then I'll have that first 30 minutes before I'll touch anything else. I've got a, a sauna outside and that, then the next process from that is to go outside, sit in the sauna, listen to a guided meditation for 25 minutes. Guided meditation for me, you know, I think that is so powerful because we talk about being in the present. There's no more, no better that a powerful tool than, than meditation that can help you at any time during the day to actually live in the moment and cut off the absolute mayhem of the 70,000 to 100,000 thoughts or 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts that are going around constantly. It helps you to get clarity and live in the moment at any point. And also for me, it's your focused attention at your intentions. That's what meditation means. So in that moment, it's being able to clear your mind and focus on the things that you want to achieve. You know, so that's where I bring in that visualization uh, as well. I choose a guided meditation because my mind easily gets distracted and I find it keeps me on course to really go through that 20, 22 minutes or whatever it is. And you can pick any narrative as well. You find anything on YouTube, you know, there's any narrative, goal setting, job interviews, abundance, whatever you want, it's there. Um, and then for me, it's exercise. You know, go out, do that exercise. Usually that looks like a 7K run with the dog or go to the gym or do a mixture of both. Um, and then when I come back from that, you know, it's, I'm, I'm in my home office. That's the first time I'll turn the phone on. You know, the last thing you want to do is turn your phone on first thing in the morning or have it on all night, not on airplane mode. Because all it takes is you to turn on Instagram. You put a revealing picture on the night before. You turn your phone on, you've got one like, your whole world is falling apart. <laughs> but it only takes a bit of bad news in the morning. That first 30 seconds can set your whole day up. And it could be a bad email, send a message from someone, keep your phone off. You know, so for the first time when I come back, sit in my home office at seven o'clock or whatever, I then turn my phone on, I deal with the day. People are just getting up at that time. My phone's not going on, WhatsApp's not going off. And it's my time to really focus. You know, and I find that I can do an hour's work in that time that would take me probably two hours to do later on in the day. You know, there's no better time to do something than the start of the day as opposed to the end of the day. And really for me, I don't care the, the kind of day I have, I'll always win. As long as I've given myself something first. I take myself to the day, I don't let the day walk all over me. But as soon as you've do, done something like that, you've broken through that negativity, all those messages in your mind saying, don't do it today, start tomorrow, you've worked hard enough this week, blah, blah, everything that's going on that we all have. When you've broken through that, no one can touch you. You've already won each and every day. So that for me is like my morning routine. And I just think it's like your most important project is you. And it's the best return on investment you can ever aim to get. It is discipline that will get you success. So many people rely on cheap ways of trying to get there, whether it is motivation, whether it's trying to jump on a bandwagon, whatever it is, but it's discipline that gets you there. It's years and years of grind. It's years and years of one step after another, one little step, and that eventually leads to a big goal but it's not pretty, so nobody cares about it. It's not promoted as much because nobody can package discipline up and sell it. In fact, discipline is one of the hardest things to maintain, and that's why it's for the elite few. It's for the special. It's why there are only a few people who are successful in this world. It's why a small percentage of people make up the majority of successful people. For me, I think it's discipline that led Mulligan Brothers to where we are today. And it's where everybody who I know who is successful in whatever field it is, got there through discipline, through the small little steps. If you cannot be happy with making tiny progress over the space of a small sp time span, you will never have massive success over a long time span. That is the way it is. It all adds up. Today's video was made possible at mulliganbrothers.com where you can now get the Memento Mori poster, an interactive poster that reminds you that you are going to die. It's the biggest motivational tool that I have used over this last year. Use code STOIC for 10% off at checkout. Also, the t-shirts, hoodies, and journals are still available at mulliganbrothers.com where all the profits go back into creating this content. I want to say a massive thank you to Ollie for doing this video. Uh, there's a few more projects coming out of Ollie, so please keep your eyes peeled and have a blessed and productive day.
I'll see you in the next one. Peace.